Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be doing some Banshee knots. Um, I, this is more of an impulsive hairstyle because like I've been seeing, I was like, I wanna do Banshee knots so badly on my hair. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let's get right into it. All right, so I'm parting my hair into triangular sections. There's a bit of a continuity issue as you can tell because I lost the clip and I didn't have enough stamina to try to go find it. So we just gonna keep it rolling. So I tried to, right here I'm laying down my baby hairs as much as I can. I'm working with gel and gel and for some reason gel and my edges don't do right. Okay, so I got my braiding hair. I only had two packs so that's why my twists were, my, my bantu knots were kind of big on my head. I think the one thing is you definitely want to keep in mind with bantu knots is you want to keep the sizing in mind because if they're too big and let's say you're somebody that has a small head they may not look that might not look the best that might not be the move that you want to make because you can look like what is, you can look like Marlon Wayne's character in don't be a menace like I'm just gonna be honest with you you can end up with that situation going on very quickly <laughs> Alright, so when you're twisting it, you do want to go counterclockwise. You don't want to, not counterclockwise, like you want to, you want to twist. Uh, how do I explain this? I kind of suck at explaining this, but you want to twist one one way and you want to twist the other one the other way. Yeah, well, y'all know how twists go. Like, you would basically do it how you would do, like, twist. Okay, I was feeling myself in that moment. Ooh, oh my god, that braiding hair, those flyaways ain't no joke. Oh my god, they were all over my forehead, mouth, nose, eyes. It's irritating. I'm not gonna lie to you, these hairstyles are a bit of an arm workout, and it will kind of make you be like, oh, especially if you're somebody that maybe you don't style your hair that much, and you're just trying it out. It's quarantine, why not? You know, start pushing yourself a little bit with these hairstyles. Start practicing for when you know life gets back on track, which it will. I don't know, like, I was kind of debating whether like twisting out the ends, but I think that twisting it did make it look better. But I think next time I may just try to do little puffs on my head and see how that looks. And I think next time I'm actually going to use colored hair instead of plain black, just to kind of see. I might do it like in a cool rainbow pattern. I think at this point I was just kind of like, God dang, what did I do? How did I get myself into this? Oh yeah, and if you're somebody that you do have my hair type, you don't have to blow it out. You can just wet it really, really good <laughs> and put rubber bands in there because that's what I did because I'm trying to go heatless. So I was just like, I don't want to have to blow dry it out. And I was like, especially for something I'm going to end up taking down like a few minutes later. But yeah, you can just blow it out. You just can just wet in, you know, obviously the water will help it kind of stretch a little bit. Or at least have it loose enough to kind of like expand. Man, that one gave me so much grief. This is my little sister. Dang, what did I do? Is, like, watching this bag, it looks like I put, like, a billion of them in there. Yeah, like I said, y'all, this is, like, not a hair tutorial. This is more, like, something to pass the time while you have, I guess, diarrhea. Because I think that's what most people do. They watch YouTube to, like, pass the time when they're doing something they're not, they don't want to do. Or if you're, like, organizing your room. Or you just, like, background noise. Like, just from the sound of my voice, hopefully, is just soothing enough for that. What am I doing now? I don't know what hairstyle I'm gonna do next. I might do those box. I might do box braids again. I think I'm gonna do that again once the beauty supplies open back up. Oh, I can't believe it, but I was mad because I thought this one girl at the beauty supply that I go to lied, or at least was trying to. You know how like they'll do customer service and they'll be trying to fake like they um like they want to go the extra mile for you, but they faking it. So she's like, oh, give me your email and everything like that. Because I was trying to purchase a little bobbed wig. You know, she was like, oh, yeah, go ahead. Give me your email and everything. So I'm sitting up here in quarantine, 
mad, thinking, she lied. She said I was going to get my shipment because they were out of weed. So she was like, you know, I'll email you when there's a shipment and we'll have one reserved for you. So I was in there like, this chick just sat up here and lied. Like, she played me, blah, blah, blah. And I thought, oh, wait, it's quarantine. Like, she probably not even at work. Like, <laughs> No beauty supplies are open. I was like, I'm so silly. Like, I was really about to write an email and file a complaint and everything. But then I remember it's quarantine, so where she at? Home. All right. So I think I'm in the home stretch. I hope. No, I'm not. I remember there's like two more left, and then I have a middle one. This is, the hair game is serious. Oh my gosh. I don't know how these beauty gurus, as y'all can tell, my channel is probably not going to be too much of like a beauty guru type channel. I think I'm just going to do maybe more doll head tutorials. <laughs> and maybe, you know, obviously the people in my household, I got a lot of those, a lot of heads in the household. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing too many of these. <laughs> Okay, I'm down to my second pack. I only used, I was kind of proud of myself because I only used about one pack, one pack and then half of a pack of hair, which made me feel better about myself. It's so weird. Like, I never thought, oh, wait a minute, holy crap. Am I the only one that's noticed this? But okay, so I cut my hair off about six months ago. Am I the only one starting to notice that there's this trend of women, like, cutting their hair super, super short? Like, it's starting to, like, especially amongst, like, 20-year-olds, like, they're cutting their hair short and they're just shaving it all off. Like, is this something in the air? Did Is it just getting everybody? Like, what's going on? Yeah, in this clip, I just wanted to show you guys my armpits because I hear that, like, people like that. So, yeah, enjoy my armpits. Not one bit of five o'clock shadow, by the way. Oh, yeah, I had to get up so that way I could actually see because I couldn't really see what I was doing in the back. I probably should explain that. Okay, so at first, like, I wasn't too sure about it because I was like, ew, this isn't looking right. One is, like, bigger than the other. This don't look right. But then I got some cute photos out of it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And be, please like and subscribe for more videos.